Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahusha, Wahara Ha Kodash, the honor to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom to sincere brother out there pushing his word, laboring in the faith. All right, putting your best foot forward. The brothers of San Francisco back with another live show. Right back with another live show, you know. Uh, Going off what happened at, at camp, really had a, a, a demonic nigga come up, you know, so the spirit is uh, going, oh, we going to curse these niggas out, man, all right? These we, we've been getting on Esau a lot, but it's time for you niggas, you need to get a rebuke, man, all right? You, you dirtbag niggas out there, man. You niggas that take the words of your how about shimmy out side is a joke. This ain't no joke, man, okay? And you're going to learn that when uh, all hell breaks loose out here, man. Somebody hold uh, Second Peter the third chapter. All right? Because Jake, Jake, Jake needs judgment, man. Jake needs to be put to death. That's right. All right? That's right. Just like the so-called white man needs death, you niggas need to get put to death, man. You walking around Babylon like everything's a joke, man. Mm. Okay? Like the most high, he just loves everybody, you know? Okay, you walking around with your, your, your misconstrued breakdown of the scriptures, and you think you got it. You ain't got it, man. You living on the street. You a fucking bum, and you 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 walking around like you got it, man. Hmm. All right, then you pushing that that bullshit uh, uh, Christianity upon Jake, that that uh, plantation uh, Christianity, which that 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 doesn't work, man. That don't work for Jake. They, they ain't never worked for us, man. All right. Somebody uh, bring out Second Peter. Look, that's the that's the definition of insanity. Yeah, yeah. yeah you keep yeah. trying something over yeah. and over again, and it never works. So how many years we've been in captivity? And that love everybody, doctor, where's that gotten you, man? Gotten you a few uh, wage slave jobs, man? And let Esau let you sit sit next to him at the ballpark? You get you get the ride in the front of the bus now, but niggas still sit in the back. Well, you homeless. You ain't got no place to But you homeless. You worse off, really. You know? You worse off, man. You talking about love, everybody. Well, why, why ain't the so-called white man showing you love and giving you an apartment, nigga? You know, why you living on the street? Where's the love with, in that, man? Well, why are you in the predicament you're in? Because the so-called white man society. Yeah, and and Yahweh Shemuel Shah hates you, man. That's right. That's yeah, right. hell yeah. Right? He that's hates it. you, man. That's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the reason why he didn't reveal the truth unto you, man. Okay? You, you bugged out niggas out there, man. The most high, Yahweh Shemuel Shah, have, have rejected you niggas, man. Okay? Because you rejected him. All right? So somebody bring that out. Second yeah. Peter, <clears throat> chapter 3, verse 3. Knowing this first. Yeah, knowing this first. Okay? So this is one of the first things you got to realize, man. Keep going. Uh, that there shall come in the last days scoffers. Yeah, and that's 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 these niggas, man. These niggas on the common board. These niggas that come up to camp. They ain't even got their life in order, but they gonna sit there and try to uh, judge you, man. Tell you what you're doing is wrong. You know, when the, when, the, when the spirit has this uh, this truth flourishing, man. Okay, you see camps popping up throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, brothers are growing in the spirit. Okay, <clears throat> more uh, revelations are are are, are, are coming. Okay, and they're being revealed, you know? But you got a, a nigga that's going to sit on the outside and talk shit, man. You know? But he ain't, he ain't doing nothing for the word, man. He ain't doing nothing for the Heavenly Father or in his mind, Jesus Christ. He's just walking up and down the street being a demon, man. You know? No beard on his face. He ain't keeping no laws, you know? The dude, the dude believes in hell. Yeah. yeah. A book out. Christian. A hey, you, book out. Yeah, he, he, the guy still thinks hell's a, a destination, man. <laughs> You, you can hit it up on booking.com and go there, man. Yeah, you get an Airbnb. You get an Airbnb in, in, in hell. hell. <laughs> there's, there's a housing market in hell. You're a bug out, man. Like Satan, Satan made your bed. He's ready for you to go sleep in the, in the hell fire. Yeah. But then as soon as you start asking the, the end questions, he doesn't want to answer. Because he's a bug out. He don't know. Yeah. He, he, he doesn't have the answers to those questions that you're going to ask. You know, they, 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 that's, that's the reason why they scoff. You know? Jake, Jake doesn't have the breakdowns, you know, and he's not, he's not uh, uh, man enough or adult enough to just tell you that, so he's, he's scoffs and talks shit, man. Try to make you seem like there's something wrong with you, you know? Oh, yeah, you're yeah, wrong. Okay, nigga, prove, prove, prove to me I'm wrong. Show me how I'm wrong. Y'all niggas wrong. John 3.16, you know? Fuck outs, man. And that's, that's why the most high is going to kill you niggas out there, man. That's right. All right? You niggas crusading for the so-called white. And that, that's, that's the main thing, man. You niggas love Esau, man. I, I, don't, I don't understand it, man. Here it is. It's, it's the, it's the so-called white man's fault that your ass is on the street. 
And you crusading for the so-called white man. You say he gonna get into heaven, man. All right. See the most side, he gonna do a, a, a real number on you niggas, man. All right. When he releases the so-called white man out here in the form of these uh, these Gurkha troops, okay, the uh, the National Guard. All right. The police, cause the police gonna get down on you niggas too, man. SWAT team. All right. They gonna they gonna uh, kick you niggas door in, hit the battering ram on you niggas. All right. At 4 a.m. while you sleep, all right, for you niggas that live on the street, he just gonna pick your ass up, man. All right, in that alley that you sleep in, man, he gonna, he gonna pull you out your damn tent and put you in a concentration camp, man. All right. That there shall come in the last days, scoffers yep. walking after their own lust. Yeah, walking after their own lust. They don't want to know what the scriptures say, what how about Shem Yah Shai wants uh, out of them. They just want to do what pleases their flesh, man. What makes them feel good? Oh, well, my breakdown in John 3.16 says that John, that God loves everybody. That makes me feel good, so I'm going to run with that, you know? Anything contrary to that, I'm, I'm going to reject it vehemently, you know? I'm going to reject it. I'm not going to listen to it. It's wrong. It's of the devil, you know? Yeah, this is 2 Peter 2 and 12, but these are natural brute beasts. Yeah, and that's what Jake is, man. Jake's a beast, okay? I was went into before, Jake only uses the, their five senses, man. The uh, hearing, sight, taste, uh, feeling, you know. Jake don't use their brain, man. Jake don't think about anything, and Jake is unable to uh, uh, counsel with each other, man. Jake's unable to have a, 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 a actual discourse yep. without getting emotional, man. You know? <clears throat> she says, these as natural brute beasts, that's what Jake is. Jake's a beast, man. He, he's no better than, than the animals out here, man. That's the reason why the most is going to put two-thirds of you, you niggas to death, man. Keep going. Yeah, it says made to be taken and destroyed. Made to be taken and destroyed. Okay, because you don't have the spirit on you, man. Where's right. the love in that, man? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's all the love? <laughs> Can you read that again, huh? Yeah, it says, but these as natural brute beasts. That sounds like an insult. I'll call someone a brute beast. That was the uh, the highest form of insult you could say in the ancient time, man. Very, it's still insulting. Yep. You can call someone a monkey, you can call him an animal, yep. call him a, a brute, yep. a, brawl, a brawler, a baboon, like the buzz said, monkey, yeah, a gorilla, uh, a donkey. Yeah, yeah, all them things. Those are insults, man. So all you guys, all you guys do is curse people out. Yeah, well, listen. Yeah, it says, but these as natural brute beasts, made to be taken and destroyed. Yeah, made to be taken. Yep. The most I created them just to be destroyed. That's right. So the, sometimes the Most High created, like you said, this world is full of hate, man. Yep. The Most High created, gave Esau power to make this world hateful, evil. That's why I was telling the bug out, this is hell. We're in hell, man. All right? And, that, that, and you, you're created to be taken and destroyed because you act, you're, you're fleshly, you're carnal, you're an animal. But the difference between us and the beast is that we got the spirit, all right? We have discernment. Yep. That foresight. And that foresight, so we know the spirit you beast you guys are living on instinct man you you looking for the next deceitful lust to uh to fulfill mm -hmm. we're seeking after greater things spiritual things right you're seeking after oh your good little warm tingly feeling called love yeah oh they think that's what the spirit is man yeah. that warm tingly feeling you get man, that's associated with you having a uh a, a warm heart towards everybody it's a that's demon. not the spirit well yeah it is the spirit that's that's the, 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 the wicked spirit it's a wicked spirit it's yeah. satan on you man uh, speak evil of things that they understand not. Yeah, speak evil of things that they understand not. You don't, when we're up there, right, and we start speaking the way we are, uh, so, uh, uh, so called uh, colloquial speak, street talk, all right, we're saying F this or whatever. We, we don't really mean to see, it. we're just in the spirit, all right? But you speak evil of it because you don't understand it. You, don't, you can't believe that the whole side set up men and go out there and teach the word like that. But Jake came in a shorter older Jake, he was like, yo, why y'all do this, man? I told him, hey, man, we do this because of some scriptures. We're commanding them to do it. So y'all speak in tongues. And I, gave, I gave him the name of the Lord in the Hebrew, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai, and he started bugging out. And then as soon as he started bugging out and started seeing the spirit on us, Satan started jumping on that, uh, the end with the glasses. <laughs> he, he just started spewing his madness. Man. Yeah, dude, he's a devil, man. Yeah, he's, yeah, a real he's, head, devil. he's a real head. He's a real high-level demon. Yep. It says, speak evil of things that they understand not. Yeah, you don't understand that how about Shemiah Shai is only dealing with uh, a few, very few elect select men. Like the other bug outs, the little uh, pizzas, 
they showed up and then they said, how many people are in your organization? I said, 144,000. We're on the rolls, 144,000. That's that's a lot. That's that's a lot to us. That's that's as much Yahweh Shai needs right now. And then what she said, she said, "What? So you telling me uh, only 144,000 have the truth? They got it right? Yes. And the rest of the people said nine nine million on the earth or nine billion? They got it wrong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, and then she says, "You're generalizing." And then we start Yahweh Yahweh Bashim Yahweh generalizes, right? He said, uh, "Out of everybody." It's spittle, man. But with the the, the with the, my my chosen, those are my chosen. Man. And then even within that Israel, two thirds are wicked, and and, and and a third is righteous. Yep. That's pretty general, man. Yep. Keep going. And shall utterly perish in their own corruption. Mm -hmm. Yeah, utterly perish in your own corruption, which is what's happening. That guy is uh, he's gonna utterly perish in his own corruption via thermonuclear missiles, via uh, concentration camps. Yep. Right? He's probably going to take the RFID microchip. You don't know better. Man. Here yeah, it is he don't know, about he don't know better. He don't even know that what the marketer piece is. You and here ask it is. Him, like, you ask him, he'll probably tell you it's a tattoo or something. Man. Well, one last thing. Oh, go ahead. Right. This is uh, Proverbs 27, verse 11. No, verse 12. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. And that's what we're trying to do. We're hiding ourselves in what? In Yahweh Shai. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We're, we're seeing that. We're trying to warn y'all. I hear the whole reason why we go out there is pretty much to warn people of the coming destruction that Yahweh Shem is going to bring. Because all we talk about, oh, the white man going to do this. That's the Most High. Yep. The Most High is using the so called white man as his agent of destruction, right? For evil. Just like how he said, saying out on Job, the same thing he did to, is doing to us. He said, Esau, all right, Esau, get down. Take everything you can from these guys, man. It's a sword. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the wicked is a sword. Uh, but it also says the wicked is made for the day of destruction. So that day is coming, man. And all you two thirds, you're you're part of that the wicked right now, man. Because yep. y'all very very evil. And the reason brother just read you, you're, you speak evil of things you don't understand, and you don't understand a thing. Because as soon as Jake starts asking questions in the scriptures, I'm gonna go at home and ask Jesus. Let me go ask Jesus. Where where's that? Where's that in the scriptures? What is that? It says be re be here ready to answer, man. Yep. Well. Uh... Ethiopian eunuch, he told Philip yeah. that he needed some man to guide him. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Exactly. He, so, was, he, he, he didn't, okay, oh, oh, both sides. You know we know today. He didn't say, oh, both sides. You know, how will break it down to him. He, he knew that he needed a man to show him the interpret the proper interpretation of the scriptures. All, all, all that, fit, that love everybody stuff does is just expose people to not understanding the scriptures. Because that's clearly not in the scriptures. Right. And the people that say, oh, you got to love everybody, they show the most hate, man. You know? Hatred towards us. Yep. The most hatred towards us. And we didn't do a damn thing to you, man. Other than insult you. Or the most high was cursed. Yeah, the most yeah, high, the most high feels that way about you. The most high refers you people as spittle, dung, brute beast, yeah. brute beast, worthless. Okay? The most high is ready to, he, he created you because he hates you, man. Because he wants to destroy you, he wants to show his power. Through his elect men, the very few. Oh, that's it? 144,000? Yes, that's it. Those are the men that have the truth. 144,000, that's the cap, right? They hit the market cap. <laughs> right, right now, you're getting, you're filling up. It's at the soft cap right now. All right, everybody. At the soft cap, we're going to get to the market. We're going to get to the hard cap real soon, man. Then, then you know it's to, really in a, to the moon, to, to the chariot. Yeah. That's where it's at. And that's how we operate here, man. That's how the most side does, deals with it, man. He, he refers to us as commodities, does he not? Gold, silver. Gold, silver. A woman, and a yep. woman is woman. trying to tell you a woman is a possession. Yep. So we're we're a possession unto Yah Bashmal Shai. A woman is definitely a, a commodity, man. A yep. stock. A servant, right? We're servants unto the Lord. Yep. Right? What is a servant? Really, it's a slave. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we're mm -hmm. slaves unto Yahweh Yahweh Shai. That's right. Prisoners. 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 Yeah, that's right. We're prisoners of, of the of our hope. That's why we out here doing this, man. We got we can't do anything else. Yeah. Well, we can't do nothing else, man. We're in a, we're in a, Traction down. Good, good. That's right. Huh? That's right. Yeah, just like how you demons, you guys, you, you do a, a deal with the devil, you contract and sign it with blood. Right? And then as soon as you break that contract, what happens to you, man? Satan takes you out, man. Same thing in this truth. Yeah, we ain't get, put no blood, no thing, but we got baptized. You tasted of you tasted of, of, of the most highs of uh, of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Yeah, well, you may be recovered by the blood, yeah. But that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right.
this is Proverbs 27 and 12. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple passed on, pass on, and are punished. That's right, the simple pass on and are punished. No, man, you're not thinking about the mark of the beast. You're, you're going to end up taking it. You're going to end up telling other people to take it. Hey, man, I don't have to deal with the chip. Let's go. You're going to go and get it. Yeah. But then you're going to get punished for that, man. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to bring out Romans the 13th chapter yeah, and explain man. why he has to take gun. You know, well, well, it's a law. I got to eat, right? But who did they, Where did they get that breakdown from? They got that from Esau. So-called white man. That's their lover, though. Yeah. That's their dad. Your, their father. Yep, really? yep. They ain't John so they, so they, So they, they just listen to their father. That's all. Satan. Daddy, daddy, daddy Esau. All right? And and, and you, he's going down, you're going down right with him. All right? Uh, that? Proverbs 13 and 13. Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed. But he that feareth the commandments shall be rewarded. Yeah, he that feareth the commandments shall be rewarded. Right? And what's our reward? Our reward is the kingdom of heaven. Like that guy, you'll have to cry later. You don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't know. You don't understand that, man. You've never been laughed at for you. How was I say? Yeah. Mocked. Here it is. You're doing that to us. Yeah. You're laughing. You're the one mocking us. You're the one speaking evil on us. Yeah. Being a demon. But hey, do that now, cause later you're gonna be crying. Yeah. Keep going on. We crying right now. You got yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 man. He's probably walking around San and Francisco. It's, and it's cold. Your glasses on. Man. And it's cold. It's a cold night, man. That's why he got four pants on and, and three jackets. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, 2 Chronicles 36 and 16. But they mocked the messengers of the Most High mm. and despised his word. Mm. Hey, they mm. mocked the messengers of the Most High and despised his word. Tell me that's not us, man. And like I told the guy, oh, you guys, you guys hate the Yahweh shit. Oh, he didn't say that. You guys want to crucify Jesus. You guys are the ones who wanted to get Paul and Peter. Wait a second. Were Paul and Peter, were they, if they were teaching all that lovey-dovey stuff, nobody would want to kill them. They, they would love them. All right, uh, 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 what's the, the people of Diana, worship Diana, they wouldn't have been mad at them. Oh, yeah, because they would teach, you should love everybody, so you yeah. even love those assholes. They would say that uh, it's okay for you to be an idolater. You know, you could worship Diana still, you just got to recognize the heavenly father. Yeah, you just got to love everybody, it's okay. Just love everybody. Love, be, hate. You know, just, yeah. That's even BS. A, even an idolater, you should love them. Obviously, they weren't teaching that. They were teaching that, hey, you got to get out of that. Otherwise, the Lord's going to roll on you. And what happened? They wanted to kill him for it. Read that again. I'll give you the scripture. It's 2 uh, Chronicles 36 and 16. But they mocked the messengers of the Most High and despised his words. Mm -hmm. And despised his words. And we're bringing out the scriptures. We're going into the scriptures. And they despised it. They don't want to believe in it. And as soon as you ask a question related to the scriptures, oh, I don't want to. They, they, they shut down. They shut down. I gotta ask Jesus, gotta call Jesus. I gotta leave Jesus a voicemail, send him an email, hopefully he gets back to me. No. You stupid. Keep going. And misuse his prophets until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people. Yeah, until the wrath of the Lord rose against his people. Because who was going who was going against the messengers? Israelites. The two-thirds. Who went against Yahweh Shai? The two-thirds. Uh including uh uh Including Esau as well, the main one. Because this guy's bugging out about being homeless. The Lord was homeless. I asked him, are you a fugitive? The Lord was a fugitive. All right? The Lord had a business. He had a house. He was from Nazareth. All right? He had a family. But he was a fugitive. Why? Because the Romans wanted to kill him ever since he was a baby. Yeah. Since before he was born, they wanted to get him, man. All right? So don't, none of that, oh, I'm homeless. So the Lord, no, the Lord was a fugitive, man. They, if he stayed home, they would have got him. If you stay home, you're a fugitive, right? Where's the first place they're gonna find you, Mama man? House. Mama house, grandma house. Mama, your girl, they're gonna find out all the girls you dealt with. They're gonna go to their house, and they're gonna catch you slipping. Keep on. Till there was no remedy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, till there was no remedy, man. To the point where the Lord said, you know what? So I'm gonna turn my back on you. And that's that's the state where we used to be in, but now the Lord is coming back. The Lord's, the Lord's spirit back. You know we're Israelites. We know you so-called, and you white, you so-called white people, you know, you know we're Israelites. All right, it's just the two-thirds, the two-thirds, the Most High is making them more and more wicked to, to, 
to, to destroy you, man. Yeah. Hard in their heart. Yeah. Hard in their heart. Just so that he can uh, exalt his, his elect men, man. You show it's so that the film Laugh and I Cry Later. But you didn't you don't know what that's all about, man. <sighs> Look out. Go ahead, huh? Uh, first Thessalonians chapter four, verse eight. He therefore that despiseth, mm. despiseth not man, but the most high, who have also given unto us his Holy Spirit. That's right. You despise the spirit of Yahweh Shem Al Shai. Because you don't have that spirit on you, man. You got the spirit of Satan on you. Yeah, if I could say it, he was kept saying, Oh, this, you can't just say the spirit. You can't just say that. How do you know? I can say I have the spirit on me. Because he doesn't know what the spirit of the Lord is, man. So he just he despised that we can discern things through the spirit. And how do we know that we're Israelites through the spirit? He can't he can't fathom it because he's a natural group piece, man. Huh? Yeah. And how do you discern if someone has a spirit or not? First John 4 and 1. Yeah. He 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 he, he can't do that though. The most side didn't give him that spirit. Then he talked to the dude, oh, they're, they're like, whoa. Why is why is snow? You know? He don't believe he 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 believes to a certain extent that uh one of the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ came in the flesh, but he doesn't believe the account that it that it's given of him, man. Yeah, he yep. said he's white. Yep. He actually yep. said that. He said it's the so-called white man. Oh, he's, he's through. Yeah. Oh, here's the concern, as it says in uh, First Corinthians, the second chapter. Mm -hmm. It's a thing. Yep. Okay. But I mean, it's just a bug out thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's more. There's more where that comes from. You know, he's just an example of what the Lord over. Yeah. Yep. You know. Yeah, right. The Lord, the Lord got his, his heart hardened, so many people were destroying. You know? Yep. Yeah, because they have uh, a prophet be deceived. Mm -hmm. Yeah, spirit spoken the thing. I, the Lord, have done it. You know, I'll stretch out my hand to destroy him. Know, yeah, so if that guy by any chance gets some followers, guess what? The followers gonna be destroyed. He's gonna be destroyed. Yeah, ain't nobody stupid enough to, to follow that nigga. Never know. And in the tradition, because <laughs> the guy, he's a solo prophet, man. Because kind of, the guy, you know, he he came by the camp trying to act like he was trying to learn. He even wrote a letter to the brother, you know. So it's oh, it's, it's done for that guy. It's done. And it's, it's the 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 way he acts is the, the way the majority of Israel acts, man. Which is the reason why the most high is gonna kill two thirds of you niggas, man. You act the same way this dude acts. He's, he's, he's the prototypical nigga, man. You know, going up to him and shit, you got that scarf on you. You know, you think everything is a joke. Silly ass smile, you mocking the prophets. And then the most high sends that destruction on you, man. And then right, right when you start to get jacked up, that's when you're gonna try to come back to the camp, you're gonna try to repent, you know? You shouldn't. You, Lucky, uh, the, the other dude wasn't out there, man. He would have told you what the deal was, man. Yeah, look, bro, hey, that's the wrong move, man. I had to learn the hard way. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. I to, well, I ain't gonna say the dude's name, man. <laughs> yeah. St. John 15 and 22. If I had not come and spoken unto uh -huh. them, they had not sinned. Yep. But now they have no cloak for their sin. Yeah, now you have no cloak for your sin, man. All right, so we're telling you what the deal is through the spirit and power of Yah by Shem Yah Shai. If you reject it, that's on you, man. But the blood is off our hands. All right, now you know you know what the what the gospel is. You know what Yah by Shem Yah Shai requires of you. If you don't want to execute that, then that's on you, man. Okay, you gonna have to pay for the things that you uh the the, the wickedness that you committed, man. All right, or you don't get no no clean slate, man. It says he that hate of me hate of my father also. That's right. And you hate your house shot, man. Two thirds of you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. That's the reason why you don't want to adhere to the word. Well, that's the reason why you delivered them up to the Romans, man. Yeah. Because you, you despised them. All right. You had to follow him, saying he was the son of son of the heavenly Father. You know. And that 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 spirit is still on you today. Was the reason why you vehemently reject the word, man? Is if I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not sinned. Mm -hmm. But now have they both seen and hated both me and my father. That's right. That's 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 okay. You got a precept? Yeah, I got one. This is Deuteronomy 28, 28. The Lord shall, mm. the Lord yep. shall smite thee with madness. And that's Jake all day, man. Jake, Jake's out of his mind. Jake's literally out of his mind, man. Keep going. And blindness. And blindness. That's the reason why you can't see the proper understanding of the scriptures, man. That's why you can't see and discern whether uh, men have the spirit of the Heavenly Father or not, man. Because you're blinded. Somebody hold Isaiah the 6th chapter 2. Yeah. Yeah. 
He had them blind. He had them glasses on like he was blind. And that was too. spiritual. That, yeah. That's yeah. spiritual that's, that he, that he had them sunglasses on, man. Yeah. It's, 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 it's nighttime and you wearing sunglasses. Yeah. Only a blind person does that. Yeah. So their eyes be all messed up, so they put the sunglasses on to kind of like <laughs> mask it. Yep. They look out, you know, so you won't see their eyes. Oh, he, 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 don't want, he don't want no light coming in his eyes, man. He wearing, he wearing, he wearing in, the, in, the, in the daytime and at nighttime, man. Yeah. So he don't want that light. He wearing them sleep. Yep. The spirit, the spirit, having say, call him Stevie Wonder glasses. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought he was going to lift his glasses up and he was going to be like gray eyes and shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the most side, the most side probably eyes. smoke them. Reptilian. Uh, I got to finish it. Hold on, you finished with that? Uh, uh, hold on. Uh, and astonishment of art. Yep. And thou shalt grope at noonday. And thou shalt grope at noonday. Okay. Because here it is, the light is out. It's, it's, it's bright out, you know. But he's groping. Jake's groping as a whole, man. Jake's looking for the truth and can't find it, all right? The light's right before their eyes, but they can't see the light, man. Because that's the reason why that guy, uh, he had those sunglasses on, man. He, don't, he doesn't want the light to come into him. He's afraid of the light, man. That's, and that's a wicked nigga, man. That's a wicked nigga, though. <laughs> This truth is only for the elect of the nation of Israel, man. The Most High is only dealing with the elect. He's not dealing with the average so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American out here, man. This book is only for the elect. All right, I told you that in Malachi, uh, the third chapter, 16th verse, man. If you're not part of that, that 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 number of men that feared the Heavenly Father, then this book ain't for you, man. <coughs> Keep going. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. Thou shalt not prosper in thy way. That's the reason why Jake is destitute, man. Living on the street, you know. Now you, you got some brothers, you know, you, you come in this thing, you may become homeless. That's the most side testing you. But these niggas out here, that's just completely wicked. The most side got them on the street and they, you can see them deteriorating. That's a curse, man. Yeah. All right. So the most side, he'll put us through something like that. that that'll be a, one of our trials, man. Yeah. And then when we come out of that, he'll be, he'll put us on a higher level, man. But these niggas out here, he just breaking them down, man. Started with you, you get cursed out by your mom, your dad, you know, they kicked you out, you know. Then you, you, you went to some damn shelter, and something happened to you in there, you end up on the street, you know. Your, your bag got stolen or whatnot. You, 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 just, you just, you start deteriorating more and more, man. That's the judgment of your house by Shemiah Shai falling upon you, man. Get arrested. Yep. Get beat up. Yeah, like yeah. Random Edomites. These bums be getting in the scuffles, man. Yeah, bro, these drunk Edomites, they're gonna leave the bar. Hey, let's get this in. <laughs> You're gonna get you, man. That's what's that's, that's, that's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, you might uh, put your cot down and the needle's right there and you lay on it. Now, you, now you're addicted to oids, man. And you got some type of hepatitis. Yeah, hepatitis. <laughs> yeah, you'll be sleeping on the street. Dudes be going around with a pipe out here and just hitting, hitting bums in the head, man. That can happen to you. That's how, it's it's a hard, hard place to be at. Uh, you done? Yeah, dude. There's like one more line. And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the man that is uh, going to save you, how shall you reject him, man? Uh, you know? So you, 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 you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you deserve everything that you're going through, man. That's the reason why we don't have sympathy for you niggas, man. <laughs> Here it is, the physician, he, he's, he's, his, his spirit is being revealed unto you, and you're rejecting him, man. But if you had disease, you, you, you would go and seek out the so-called white man for help. <clears throat> so this is Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Hey, and if you don't see what whatever decisions you're making is going your way, it's you're to lead to death, man. Then obviously, whatever you're doing is bad, man, because you're, you're on the street, you got layers of clothing on your sleeping. And then you're coming up and talking shit to us, man. We are over here. We'll, we'll actually help you. We can actually tell you. Let's say if you came in a sincere spirit, I maybe gave him a little, little some bread or whatever, tell him what to do. Especially if you're a young guy, you're like in your teens, you got your whole so called life ahead of you. But you're a bug out, man. You're, a, you're out of here, man. <laughs> You guys, you guys abuse that. You abuse that, and you really you hate Yahweh Shai because 
we're, we're really, we're open guys. We want to help people, you know. If you come up sincerely, we'll talk to you. We'll break down the scriptures. But if you sincerely want to learn, that's what we're out there for. Well, I accepted his apology. Yeah. He said, hey, man, I'm sorry. I had to use all But see, he, that dude, he's so reprobate. He's not even going to remember that. That he already admitted that he was a demon, that he had demons. Yes. And that's why he scoffed in the first place. Yes. He, his mind is far removed from that point. But, but he's just a demon. Yeah. Yeah. Satan got him. Good. Yeah, so anybody, even brothers in the truth, man, you see, you, see, oh, you know what, I'm not going to take counsel with the brothers on the move they're going to make, and you go and do it, then what happens? You get effed over on the deal. Yep. That's your fault, man. You should have counseled with the Akim. Well, at least two or three of the brothers. And that's when you know how about Shimei Al Shai is really dealing with you. And then, oh, no, you shouldn't do that. Well, the other brother may say, you know what, maybe if you do do it, you should do it like this. But whatever. And then you get your advice and your counsel and you're good. But if you go on your own, that's your own fault, man. Yeah. And you keep going on your own, making your own decisions, counseling with yourself, you're gonna end up bugging out and gone the way to, on the road to destruction. Yep. Here it is, the Yahweh Bashi Mao Shai set up the brotherhood, man, the fellowship, friends, all these things, right? Yahweh Shai said, man, like, it's your greatest love is to die for your friend, man. <laughs> when I asked him that, he didn't, he, first he said he had no friends. And then he said, I have like two friends. Yeah, yeah come on, man. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Man. It's sad. It's very sad. That guy's a sad guy, man. Just thinking about him, man. Because you could He's through. That's but that's like the brother said, overall, that's how all of Israel is, man. These young kids out here that are from the projects, they got parents on drugs. You know, they've been they've been abused growing up. They're still being abused. It's sad. But those guys are out of here. You know, those guys, the most high got those guys out. They're they're really they're brute beasts, may they be destroyed. Yep. That's the two-thirds. They're so vile and disgusting, man. There's no point for them to repent sometimes, man. They just gotta scoff. They just gotta scoff because they know that Yahweh Shai forsook them. Yeah, they know that. But they, they denied him first. Yeah, yeah. That's, why they, that's, why they, that's why they go so hard in the denial of Yahweh Shai is because they have such a so called fucked up life. They're like, oh, how could God do this? How, it's, how, he, God doesn't love me. Why did this happen? I got molested. How this happened? This happened. It's so ultimately because the Lord, He hated you. Really, that's what they, that's the breakdown. And then that's your judgment. And then, then, then you get you get introduced to the truth, and you scoff. And then, boom, the stamp was still they was solidified of your destruction. Because that was your way out, man, of that of that wicked mindset. You could have repented from all that and, and returned, and you would have been clean from all that wickedness. But since you said no, I don't want that. You remain even. You got even more vile, man. More disgusting. And you can see these guys, these scoffers. They get work more wicked and wicked and evil, evil, more destitute. The evil man is seducing so wax worse and worse, yeah. deceiving and being deceived. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, because once you get to a, uh, a certain point, you actually think that the Lord is with you. Like certain of these guys, you know, they actually think they got victories. Like he said, yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what was he saying? Yeah, uh, uh, just keep going. Them, them demons will flee. Like he, he, and he was actually uh, persuaded in his mind. So, so he was out there to deceive people. Really, he was trying to put spirits on us. Yeah, yeah. But really, he was deceived the whole time, man. And the scriptures don't lie. Yeah. That's right. Oh, you good on that, right? Huh? Kind of. Yeah, this um, Jeremiah uh, 6 and 30, reprobate silver mm. shall men call them <laughs> because the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, have rejected them. That's right. right. That's right. Well, they said it perfectly earlier at camp. This guy's just a reprobate. Yeah. And that's what we call them. <laughs> <laughs> He's a reprobate. Reprobate silver. Reprobate silver. That's right, man. Send not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Yep. He that believeth on him is not condemned. Yeah, he that believeth on him is not condemned, man, because if you believe on your house shot, okay, and if you endure unto the end, your sins are gonna be uh wiped away from you, man. Alright? But he that believeth <laughs> not is condemned already. Yeah, he that believeth not is condemned already. Okay, why? Because you're gonna be judged according to the uh the old covenant. Which, under that covenant, everybody's supposed to get put to death, man. All right, here it is. The Most High, he's literally giving you an opportunity to to to, to repent and give you a, a grace period so you can get yourself right, you know? Give you a, a clean slate. Jake don't want that, though, man. 
like not nah, to hell with that. I don't, I don't want that. I don't. I don't want to be covered by uh, the blood. You know. I don't want to believe on uh, on your son. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my own thing. You know. <clears throat> and you condemn yourself, man. You know? Because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of Yahweh. Yeah, his name ain't, ain't Jesus Christ, man. His name is Yahweh. All right. Yeah, cause uh. The uh, as the scripture said, can you read it again? Uh, uh, not the verse before, where he came out into the world to condemn the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, St. John 3 and 17. For Yahweh sent not his son into the world to condemn the uh, uh, To condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Yeah, because how do you get condemned then? By your own conscience. Okay, you condemn yourself by your own wicked deeds. Like that guy. Like it says in Sunrock, the 14th chapter, lest is he whose conscience have not condemned him, and whose hope has not fallen from his hope in the Lord. Hey, because it says that uh, your own sins have separated you from the heavenly yep, Father, yep. you know? Like that clown from earlier, <coughs> and the rest of you scoffers and you scoffers, man. You condemn yourself when you when you come against the brothers, okay, when you forsake the truth. You're pretty much bodying yourself, man. You commit, you commit suicide, okay? It starts spiritually and then it physically manifests and then the Lord, you force the Lord to kill you, man. And that's what this uh, world is set up to do, man. It's set up to uh, have you do things which are not convenient for you. So then you can catch hell, bring hell upon yourself and then die, man. That's why I got our people, they're all morbidly obese. Okay, they, all, they got all types of, they got, uh, 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 all types of cancers, which are caused by, drugs. yeah, addicted to drugs. Okay, mm -hmm. food is a main drug, okay? FDA. Yeah, because really, and it's really all self-inflicted, man. Man, nobody, yeah, nobody force you to scoff or to scorn, okay? But you condemn yourself, man. When you when you had a when you had a, a, a open a open door for you set up. That's it, brother. Yeah, like it says in the uh, second Ezra the ninth chapter, they despised the uh, yeah. the grace period that the yeah. heavenly Father gave them. They despised the fact that they can repent. You know. <clears throat> All right, um, verse 18. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. Yep. Because he had not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of Yahweh. Yeah, uh, that's what condemns you by not believing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the, the nigga from earlier and the rest of these niggas that come up, okay? They come up in that sod of spirit, they're condemned because they don't believe. So really, the condemnation is upon, is upon their own head, man. That's why their blood is going to be upon them. Just like it talks, it talks about with a homosexual, we read Leviticus, the 20th chapter. Your blood shall be upon you. No, uh, uh, no one's guilty, okay? Everyone, everyone's uh, guiltless for, 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 what's, for what you go through, okay? Because you brought that upon yourself. Like the Lord ain't going to jack, the Lord ain't going to uh, come and get at us because you get put to death because we showed you the right way. We were in order. Okay, you're going you gonna to die in your own iniquity. Verse 19, and this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world, mm -hmm. and men love darkness rather than light. Yeah, men love darkness rather than light. So you you don't want to be in the light, man. Okay, and it's gonna explain why. Keep going. Because their deeds were evil. Because their deeds are evil. You know, you don't want to be reproved and, and then correct uh the lifestyle that you live in. You got comfortable uh being a demon, man. Alright. And you can't handle uh uh the hell that you're gonna go through trying to get right. You know, so you just forget it. Oh yeah, I ain't even dealing with it. You know, I'm not gonna even deal with that. I'm gonna just be be a demon, man. This this is this is easier. It's easier for me to be a demon, man. All right. I don't want my my sins to be bought. I don't want to feel bad. You know. <clears throat> for everyone that doeth evil hated the light. Yeah, everyone that doeth evil hated the light. Which is the reason why he had them sunglasses on, man. He's a, he's, he's a wicked nigga, bro. He's wicked. You know, the most side knows the type of shit that that dude is doing, yeah. man. You know? In San Francisco, too. Man, it's the wrong place to be wearing shades at nighttime. Well, hey, the nigga was saying, how do you know I'm not staying with somebody? I started thinking that the thought went dark, man. It went yeah. dark there. Yeah, some young kid from the South, we out in Frisco. Like, you, you, man, that's a, he's all, you know, gullible, you know? They don't know what's going on. That's this. This is the worst place to be, man. Yeah, you're a rope, man. You, you, out here, you can't discern if it's a man or a woman. Yeah. 
Don't tell them what that could have, you know. Keep going. Neither come into the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. At least his deeds should be reproved. You know, that's, that's Jake's problem, man. Jake hates getting told by somebody that what they're doing is wrong. You know? That's the reason why we get a lot of pushback on the highways and hedges, man. Jake, Jake, literally in their mind, Jake think that they got it. Like that nigga, man. He literally thought he had, he thought he had the, the secrets of life, man. You know? And the majority of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that you interact with, they believe that in their mind, man. Oh, well, I got the secrets. I know how to do it. Y'all some y'all y'all some young dudes. Y'all y'all know what y'all talking about. Well, he says he got a direct line to talk to to talk to God, talk to God and Jesus. Man. He got them on he got them on his favorites. Just hit him up any day, texting him, hey, what's up, Jesus? Was that five babes? Oh yeah, back in the day. He's on. You got Facebook pictures of Jesus. Come on, man, you're a bug out. Anybody anybody who says, oh, I, I talk to God every day. We don't, we don't mean to, we pray to the most high, but we don't say we have a conversation with the Lord. No, yeah, you ain't you ain't Moses, man. Yeah, you, you ain't, ain't Abraham. That time is gone, man. That yeah. happened, and that it's in the scriptures now. So now we we talk to Yahweh Shimei Al Shai directly through the scriptures and by the Akim, man, and the brothers throughout the world, and starting with our apostles, watching the camps, watching their videos. That's how we get in direct contact with Yahweh Shimei Al Shai. Right through, through men, right? Men of Yah Shimei Shai, right? Men of the Lord. Not bugged out dudes with sunglasses on. Out in the middle of no, out in, out in the, bro, out in actual hell out here. This is actual hell. You know? <laughs> People are like, oh, you're gonna go to hell. You're in, you're in actual hell, you idiot. You're, yeah, it's bad. And you're gonna see it. Oh, it's all nice right now. It's all scenic. Get the water right here. People on a goddamn yacht. All right? Bro, when the earthquake hits, it's gonna be pure hell out here. When that earthquake tears this that tears this place up, man, this whole this might fall in the damn water. Yeah. This place, this whole city might fall in the damn water. You know that Hayward Fault, see this cut right through from Oakland, the whole the whole East Bay. It's gonna be carnage, man. And then what do you think's gonna happen? There's gonna be no trucks in here. The bridge is gonna fall out. People gonna be fighting for food. You know, Trump ain't gonna give no money out here. He's gonna say, oh, why, why doesn't Google and Facebook pay for it? <laughs> They're gonna get jacked up, man. And all the people who work for them. And then furthermore, there's gonna be no more uh, flood of the drugs. Yeah. Take take oh, drugs off, out of San Francisco and watch this play go wild. And then you got the oids? Yeah, you ain't got the oids. You stop, the bridge is cut off on both sides. You landlocked inside. Well, you people gonna start eating each other. You gonna well, start killing each other. The first place is that gonna get looted are the ph pharmacies. Yep. Yeah. Walk, see, yeah. Yeah, walk, yeah. that's the first spot, and then the hospital. If the people in the hospital are already in the second, yeah. it's gonna get bad out here, man. All right, and the most high, oh, you got the stock market crash, and the dollar's gonna hit the earth. The earthquake's gonna wreck, wreck this place, and you, uh, and you over here laughing out, cry later. Just you wait, man. Just you wait, cause we gonna get, we gonna link up in that day, man. Toasting, sipping. Praising you, how about Shimei Shai, man? Just not stop just praising you, how about Shimei Shai? You're we'll gonna feel a tremor. Be like, oh yeah, you know, you know, someone got jacked up. Cause you know they're under the rocks right now. <laughs> they're under the rocks. They can, they can breathe. They've been under there for 18 hours. Goddamn. Help! But then the little tremor, <laughs> boom, they crush their head, man. Yeah, yeah. Mosai's gonna fuck you people up, man. That's right. That's right. right. Uh, still have more on that? Oh yeah, Sorry. I got one more verse if you want it. Real quick, I will show that. All right. Yeah. All right. But he that doeth truth come into the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in Yahweh. Bashim Yahweh Shine. This is uh, Zechariah 13 and 8. It shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. That's right. Hey, that's talking about the two thirds. Keep going. But the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and we will find them as silver is refined. Yeah, we're in the fire right now. We're in hell. Yeah. The dude's like, oh, you're going to be in fire. I was like, we're in the fire. Yeah. All right? Right now, we're in the fire. Then a little later, you're going to be in that fire. All right? Right now is the turn, uh, one third time to go through this hell. Your hell's coming up, man. Keep going. And we'll try them as gold is tried. Hey, going back to us being commodities for Yahweh Shemel Shai, we'll try us as gold is tried. Keep going. They Get shall, out all our impurities, man. 
and then get out the weaklings, the dudes who ain't right. Because a lot of, yeah, all you dudes that came in and <clears throat> fell out, y'all are really bad. Because that dude, he came in kind of trying to learn, trying to understand what was going on. And what do you do? He became a scoffer. Like the most, like majority of you guys fall out. You go back in the world, you become a scoffer, you get more and more wicked, you start doing evil deeds. Just, just to seal your fate as uh, 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 to be destroyed as a two third. You know? And I will try them as gold is tried. Mm -hmm. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. Mm -hmm. I will say it is my people, and they shall say the Lord is my power. All right, and that the one third are going to do that. All right, not the two thirds. All right, you're not going to do that. I'm, I'm pretty sure we can end it up on that right there. All right. That we're going to say death to the two-thirds. Death, death to the two-thirds. Two -thirds. Two -thirds. All two -thirds. praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh With that, we're going to say shalom. Shalom. Death to the nigga one. 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 Death to the nigga one.